Hi there! In today's video I want to show you how to use SheGo's Purchase Order Management Workflow Template in Google Sheets. It's ideal for small businesses, stores and manufacturers or anyone looking for a simple way to record suppliers, receive purchase requests from colleagues, monitor deliveries and simply automate purchase order management in their company. Unlike a standard spreadsheet template, the SheGo purchase order workflow consists of three separate but connected Google Sheets files and data flows between them via SheGo connections. These SheGo connections let you automate and transfer data between separate files. This means that you can create your own purchase order system without any specialist software, so just using spreadsheets. A spreadsheet based system is very scalable. If you manage other parts of your business in spreadsheets, such as inventory, for example, you can simply connect these to your workflow to create an integrated data procurement system across your entire company. And of course, we all know if you have a lot of people working the same spreadsheet, it can become very large and slow. Plus, there's a higher chance of mistakes in the spreadsheet. A workflow with separate files is lighter to process and it gives you more data accuracy and privacy since every colleague, every person is working in their separate spreadsheets. Now, how does it work? So the Shiko purchase order workflow contains three Google Sheets files. Firstly, there's a purchase order management master sheet. This is where the manager will fill in their list of approved suppliers. And this list of suppliers is then automatically transferred to the two other spreadsheets in this template. These spreadsheets are for submitting order requests. You can share these files with individuals or entire teams or departments and make as many copies as you need. Then when someone in the company wants an item to be purchased, they simply request it via their personal order request spreadsheet. These orders then automatically flow back into the manager's master sheet where he or she can decide whether or not to buy the item and of course send the order to the right supplier. When the office or warehouse team then receives the deliveries, they simply register these also in the master sheet. As a result, the manager gets an automated overview of all purchase orders and also the goods delivered to your company in an automated dashboard. This way, the entire company's ordering system is centralized in one automated master sheet, so there's no need for calls back and forth or emails whatsoever. Okay, now let's take a look at how to set up the system. To install the purchase order template, simply click on the link in the video description below. It will take you to this Shiko web app screen where you can log in using your Google account. So let's do so. There we go, we're now at the screen where you can download and install the purchase order management workflow template. Do so by clicking here on the use template button. Shigo will now create the copies of the template inside your personal Google Drive and create the connections between the files. Your copy of the template opens inside Shigo, so that means that you can work in the spreadsheets and at the same time edit the workflow right here. But if you need more space to work in your spreadsheet, simply close this side panel by using this sliding bar. There we go. We're now in the purchase order master sheet, as you can see, and this sheet contains five tabs. The instructions tab gives you the steps to set up this template again. And the first thing that you need to do is register your suppliers in the suppliers registers input tab. As you can see, there's some sample data here, so you can simply remove this and fill out your own list of suppliers. What you want to do first is send this list of suppliers, once you've finished filling them out, send them to your order requests sp input spreadsheet. So let me show you the workflow again. This list of suppliers needs to be sent out to your order request spreadsheets and to do so you click run for the first time. As you can see on the arrows here, it will automatically send this data to your order request sheet. So do that first before continuing in the master sheet. Your team members will be able to quickly find and select the correct supplier each time they place an order. So the last step in this master sheet is the consolidated orders tab. This brings the data from your order request sheets into your master sheet. So here you will see which order your team members have requested and how much it will cost you. 
As you can see, this tab has a padlock icon. This means that this is a connected tab from Shiko. So pulling data from the other file. So there's no need to edit this tab. Then the orders received input tab is where you or the warehouse manager then registers any orders coming into your warehouse. So the ones that you've received from your suppliers. And if there's any complaints or additional notes you want to add here. And last but not least, we have our dashboard, of course. This gives you an overview of your key purchase order metrics, such as the delivery days, the total orders placed versus the orders received, complaints per supplier and average complaints per supplier and total cost per supplier. This is the purchase order master sheet. Now let me open one of the request files to show you how it works. There we go. Let's close the sign panel to show you. So this is a spreadsheet where your team members can request purchases. So they also have a short instructions tab and then in the order request input tab, they simply remove the sample data and fill out their own order date, supplier code. This is automatically generated from your order number coming from the list of suppliers that you already created in the master sheet. Order name, the description, the price per order and how many they want. To share this spreadsheet with the person or people responsible, you simply click here on edit in new. This will open the file in a new tab in your browser. And here you can simply click on the Google Sheets share button to give that person or people edit access to this specific spreadsheet. But let me go back to the workflow. So that's it. Once you have shared these order requests with your team members, with your colleagues, and they filled out their order requests, you go back to the workflow and click on run again to update these connections into your master sheet. It will bring the data from the requested orders into your master sheet where you can decide which one to order and which you refuse. So you click run right here to do so. But if you don't want to do this manually, every time you want updated information on the purchase orders, you click on automate to schedule automatic updates. And if you have other managers working on the system with you, you can share this workflow with them via this share button right here. That's how to get started with Shigo's purchase order management workflow templates. If you're looking for a customized procurement system or you need some help with this template, simply book a meeting with our experts via the link in the description. And if you're working in a smaller team, in a smaller company, and you do not need this entire workflow system, we also have a purchase order template in a single file. I will put the link to copy that template in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more spreadsheet based automation ideas. Thank you.